Enneagram type sixes, also known as the allegiance, are frequently misunderstood. They are a bundle of contradictions and complexities that make them very hard to pin down. However, it's those very traits that make them so unique and invaluable. Type sixes have a fascinating array of traits that often make them seem contradictory. On one hand, they're very loyal and dependable, while on the other hand, they can be prone to anxiety and self-doubt. Those contrasting traits is what make them so adaptable in different situations, but it can also lead to an internal conflict. One of the most intriguing aspects of the type six is their ability to adapt to the traits of those that are around them. They have a chameleon-like nature about them, and that nature helps them to adapt to various social settings, and it also helps them to build very strong relationships. However, because of this chameleon-like nature, it can lead them to a confusion about their true nature. Because we all share um, traits from each type, the type six can sometimes seem more like a type one or even a type eight. For example, their loyalty and responsibility can make them appear like a type one in situations that require a strict adherence to rule. In high stress or leadership situations, they may exhibit the assertive or the protective traits of a type eight. However, in the ideology system, which incorporates numerology to help you find your type using uh, your birth date, which reduces down to a single digit, you can accurately be type easy without this confusion. To learn more about finding your type through ideology, click the link in the description below. At their core, type sixes, greatest fear is a loss of security. That fear is what drives many of their behaviors and their decisions, and it leads them to seek reassurance and stability. Many type sixes struggle with being safe. It has to do with their innate tendency to anticipate worst case scenarios. This heightened awareness of potential dangers can make them feel on the edge perpetually. When a type six feels safe, they are incredibly loyal, they are dependable, and they're very proactive. When a type six is feeling unsafe, however, they can be very anxious, they can be indecisive, and they can be suspicious. A type six is the type to walk into a haunted house, for instance, and immediately just make this checklist of emergency exits, fire extinguishers, safe zones. Like they might even be the type to have like an extra backup flashlight just in case. So the type sixes come in two variations. This is the phobic and the counterphobic. Phobic sixes tend to be more cautious. They seek safety in numbers and support from others. Counterphobic sixes, on the other hand, confront their fears head on. They often appear bold and fearless. Despite their differences, though, both the phobic and the counterphobic six share a fundamental fundamental need to feel safe. That need for security is what drives their behavior and their loyalty. The need to feel safe is exactly why type sixes are so loyal. They build strong, dependable relationships to create a network of support and security. Now, the type sixes often struggle with trusting themselves, and that lack of trust can make decision making challenging and contribute to their anxiety. If type sixes can overcome their core fear of losing security and learn to trust themselves, they can become incredibly resilient and confident individuals. Now, let's talk about how these traits develop in a type six during childhood. 